What's going on Workforce? Brian here and just days after Ultimate having been cleared for the Ultimate trial just released with patch 4.3. Seems like Ultimate Raiders are getting a little bit of bad news. So let's talk about it. So first I want to thank Kerry R of Light who posted the Dengeki interview from E3 over on Reddit. I will include a link in the description below. Please go give them some thumbs up. We're just going to summarize it here and full warning, we might get into a little bit of spoiler territory. I want to cover what was uh, you know, said in summary. There's a lot of detail. Again, uh, I'll let you guys go and pour through the full interview if you guys want all the detail. But like I said in the intro tease, it looks like they're thinking that only two Ultima raids, ultimate raids, are going to be included each expansion. Originally they were thinking one with each odd number patch, but I guess based off some feedback or some resources, this isn't going to happen anymore. So they're going to conclude or put on hiatus the Ultima series until sometime in the theoretical 5.0 era. And so that kind of, you know, I'd love to know what you're thinking about that. Is this disappointing? Is this good news? I literally feel like I fall on both sides of the fence because I've enjoyed watching the Ultima raids so much. Being able to like watch Mr. Happy or watch any of the real hardcore progression raiders challenge this content. It is some of the most exciting stuff. It shows up on like the Twitch as the number one <laughs> game. <laughs> Maybe not, but it's still like, it is just insane to watch. It, it, it is pretty interesting. And what they do and put into it is valuable. It's not content that I myself am ever going to experience, at least in the near future. So, you know, it's like, that's kind of one piece of it that I really enjoy watching and consuming that content. But the other side of it is like, well, there are resources that they are putting into those fights that could be used for other things. And so the non Ultima Raider in me is like, well, I'm wondering what we're going to get out of it. And obviously this interview does not go into what we're going to get instead of it. So again, like, I'd love to know your thoughts. That's a, you know, we need to discuss this. Are you happy? Are you disappointed? Or do you fall somewhere in the middle ground? Like, you know, hoping that we're going to get some new content that more people can enjoy. Savage Plus, anybody? <laughs> anyway, um, so the interview goes on to talk about 4.3, and they, they start to try to push questions about 4.4, but Yoshi P is really, like, shooting those down. We're not going to learn anything about 4.4 for a while. He does tease that uh, the Ultima Raid is going to conclude with 4.4. So we've kind of speculated, is Ultima going to go to maybe a theoretical 4.6 patch? But it appears that if there is even a 4.6 Ultima might not be a part of it. And that's at least what I'm gathering from, from this in and of itself. So uh, <laughs> there is a, uh, you know, like I said, minor spoilers. So they talk about, um, <laughs> spoiler, spoiler, if you have not cleared 4.3, please stop the video. I'll give you plenty of time. Uh, we'll go from there. Um, <laughs> while you pause the video, the uh, they've been having some people with uh, third-party tools looking to use and uh, tweak the ultimate version of Titan to see who's going to get gold. Uh, which has actually helped them out. So they're trying to consider how they're going to manage packages. But this also kind of ties in a little bit about upgrading the graphics engine of Final Fantasy XIV. And he says that if Final Fantasy XIV becomes like a 10 year plus kind of game, that's absolutely something they're going to have to do. He also goes into the interview and talks about how he was thinking that like 4.0 was going to be kind of the apex, the highest point that 14 could reach. But it actually took took him by surprise. It totally blew him away in terms of the subscriber growth and the active subscribers for the game itself and made him rethink like what this game could be or should be going forward. And so as a part of like a five year anniversary since the launch of A Realm Reborn, they are talking about kind of teasing where they're going to take 14, almost kind of like that uh, 2.0 where they really kind of said, here's what our plan is, you know, and if you look back at that document, numerous things of that has been hit and achieved. So getting any kind of uh, outlook, you know, look, not regarding story, but just what they want the game to be, look like, feel, play like would be, I mean, a huge plus to me, in my opinion. All right, jumping back into spoiler territory with the final fight against Yasetsu. This is uh, kind of the thing they were going for is that sins will be punished one day. But the question is, is that what if somebody doesn't remember what they've done? I interesting in philosophy, obviously, I guess an interesting uh, question. And obviously that was explored, but into 4.4 they want to shift the focus back onto the warrior of light obviously 4.4 is like the next chapter in the in a tv series uh which should be taking us into 5.0 and she's like we haven't announced 5.0 yet <laughs> you talked about doing 
uh, uh, all the way up to 7.0. <laughs> so, you know, I guess he's just really trying to make sure that he doesn't say it. So that way that people don't get all super excited, you know, and, <laughs> and either expect too much or, you know, start speculating and hopefully not get disappointed at any point in time. Um, he says that the Elzen Almingan in the Resistance uh, in the patch 4.3 story is a totally new character that we haven't seen before, but it's still assumed that he's meaning the physical shape of them as we think that that person might have been possessed or is a version echo of <laughs> uh, of so many uh, other characters. I'm not going to name them here just in case. I, either we're wrong or I, I don't want to ruin it for you, but check out our podcast. We did talk about that in length uh, <laughs> with Amriel. So he said that they're uh, for Monster Hunter World, they're going to try to launch both collabs around the same time for Monster Hunter World and Final Fantasy XIV. They won't say if it's an eight-man raid or not um, within Final Fantasy XIV or an eight-man trial for the fight. So they're kind of being coy on that. But there is going to be a trailer uh, that they're releasing early in July about this. And then if you guys haven't heard, the uh, <laughs> as a part of Live Letter, they said that they are targeting the companion app for the uh, kind of late July. And it could delay two weeks depending on iOS uh, you know, delivery and interpretation of that. So some random bits and pieces right here. So, uh, you know, approximately 40% of people at E3 have cleared the patch 4.3 trial uh, during the event, and they've organized a big surprise for the final chapter of the Omega Raid. I'm hoping Sephiroth, not Sephiroth, <laughs> we already have him, Sephiroth. I think that would be really cool uh, to kind of theme that out, but also 8 and 9, lots of really cool bosses there. Um... The outfits uh, for uh, Lise, Yosetsu, and uh, Fordola uh, won't be added anytime soon, most likely to the MOG station. And so I know a lot of fans have been uh, clamoring for that as well. Uh, Yoshis uh, <laughs> uh, Yoshida doesn't have a problem with nobody being in the 2.0 eras because he thinks those new players prefer having their own brand new adventure. I'd love to know if you're a new player, if you like having a really active and engaged world, or if you're enjoying the pace in the quiet reflection of the 2.0 areas as far as it goes. All right, guys, that's the summary. Again, go check the link in the description below if you want the full details. You want to go down each question and give that a read. Mr. Happy actually posted a fantastic video um, of his interview with Yoshi P, and I'll include a link somewhere on the page as well in the description below if you haven't seen that as well. Some interesting tidbits of information uh, gained there. Uh, Gamerscape has actually done an interview, sit down with Yo uh, Yoshi P, and uh, and that should be getting posted soon. So when that goes live, I'll be sure to give it a cover as well. And any other interviews that come out of E3. Hopefully you guys have a fantastic E3. Hopefully it was a lot of fun and lots of games were announced that you're excited about going forward. I know that um, if you guys are not aware, tickets are on sale for uh, July the 10th for FanFest, which takes place in Las Vegas in November. If you're here in North America, hope to see you there. We're hoping to get tickets ourselves. Uh, lots of really cool rewards. But that's that's it guys that's this video thanks so much for watching sound off in the comments below let me know what you're thinking what you're feeling let's have that conversation about this or anything related to final fantasy 14 but guys for work to game my name is brian thanks so much for watching this video and i'll talk to you soon hashtag <laughs> crossplay now baby take care hey what's going on this is the end screens i hope you enjoyed this video <laughs> Please hit one of these whatevers around the screen for some even more fun. Who knows what's going to happen? I don't know. I don't know what Google's thinking.